know, this event is about the children, it's about the people in the community. It is about the families. Before I speak about the event, let me say this place is a very special and important place for me. Before, that place was not so beautiful. And I spent about $3 million to build this one for the children in the community. Because I know many families, they don't have a backyard in their house. They need a place for the children to come to enjoy the time and to play. And the families also need a place to come to give the children to enjoy you know, the weather, the nature, and also to relax. This event today is a great event. You know, the weather is beautiful because we know the city of New is a great city. We are lucky and privileged to live in this beautiful and wonderful city. But there are many information, many services that are available for people, but they don't know about them. So it is so important, and I think and I'm grateful for those organizations that come today to provide viral information to the people. And also we want to have sport, you know, basketball, and food also, music, entertainment. This is a such a wonderful, wonderful event, and I'm so pleased to be able to work together with the partners, with the allies, to provide such a wonderful event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is so important for the children and the community. Yeah. Especially the application. Right? Yeah. Thank you much. So we're here as a part of our community outreach effort to cover more grounds, you know. We still have some families that are not registered. We still have some seats that they don't want to so we do this just to cover that, make sure that everybody heard about us, everybody had the chance. Even if they would not call us, we'll come out down to the field and we'll do the work and reach out. We want to be able to reach every family and we want to make sure that families that maybe not have been franchised enough to learn about this program, hear about it. Um, it's about being quality. You just said something that I know about it already. There are so many good programs and services available in the city of York, but not everybody takes advantage of them, even the qualified. Because we have been seeing that not only for people, you know, for uh, our program, for senior citizens, but we have to, you know, continually, every single day, try to reach out to them. But if somebody who is not, uh, uh, let's say, a parent, a father, the children are not in the world in pre-K, what should they do? Make sure that their children be part of the free people. All. They can call 311. 311. Or they can go to the website, nyc.gov slash pk. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they get our number. Mm -hmm. Or just, yeah, I get one of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just leave their email and we usually get back to them and call them directly and call the application with them for the, their choices and prioritize them. Very good. Event, see us here. Very good. And again, on behalf of the community, on behalf of my constituent, thank you for your service and thank you for coming over here. Thank you for organizing them and then giving us the venue to come and reach out to them. Thank you. God bless you. Let's work together. Where is this big Yep. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. First, uh, let me thank you, you know, for coming uh, over here today to provide very important information to my constituent and the people who are going to attend. Because emergency management is so important. Some of the time people don't realize how important they need to be prepared. Until they are facing, they are facing the reality. Teams. I support the third and I know Excellent. I'm already here. But uh, again, uh, I want to thank you on behalf of the community and on behalf of my community. But uh, in addition to that, give us some information about what you're doing. What is important for people to know, you know, uh, information in order to protect them? Sure. Something like this. Well, one of the things that I want to make sure you allow me to, everybody will remember sin. That was a big blow to the city. So I think that uh, this is uh, no uh, a way to say people tell me to be You guys do the work of the job. What else you can tell? Well, uh, two things. I read in New York uh, my emergency plan. Uh -huh has information on uh, making a plan for emergencies, getting all your contact information together, getting a uh, go bag together, getting a location to meet uh, both close to your house and far away from your house for you and your family if you have to 
evacuate or can't get to your apartment. Um, you're right, everybody does remember Sandy. We like to also remember her to remind people about the smaller things like uh, fire in their building or maybe next door, or uh, even things as like a water main break might inhibit access. Uh, other thing that's really important is our Notify New York. Uh, your constituents can sign up for text message or email alerts. It tells them about severe weather, subway disruptions, school closures, relocations, as well as uh, traffic advisories, a couple other things. Those are two uh, probably pretty big things that people can do to prepare themselves. The rest of the information is a little bit more specific, like our hurricane guide. Uh, we do have a pet guide. Uh, a lot of people are really good at preparing themselves for emergencies. Uh, preparing your pet for an emergency is really important as well. If you have a dog or a cat or even other types of uh, animals. Although two of the most common are of course the dog and the cat. Uh, and then just getting all that information together in some place that's readily accessible. Refrigerator magnets are really good to have. Very good. I'm so pleased that you come to those housing. Just surprised. You know, I'll see you right now. And I know that there are so many. Hey, how are you? You from HPV also? Yes, I am. Very good. And I know that this is the biggest crisis that we have. We're going right now. Yes. And we are all in this area. The city called the city, the mayor of the elected officials, the service provider, the service organization. We're working together to see what we can do. But I'm so pleased that you come here because uh, I'm sure that you have uh, very important information to give to the back to everybody. And can you tell us a little bit about it, about the services that you are providing, the information that you are providing? Well, basically the stuff we're doing today, we don't actually work in this section, but we just normally come out to them, you know, the people with information are concerned about keeping their house safe from bugs, you know, just safety things. Not to really discriminate against your rights to know what mean, and if you get into trouble, you know, the information in this book is to tell you exactly who to call, you know, so you can know about it. So basically, it's just things like, you know, to help them, like if you're a first time home by, you have to get assistance to be approved, so, you know, and we have things for apartment and kitchen and housing connect, like you see all the new buildings. Yes. Where the constituents actually come into the council members office, yes. where we do an intake sheet if they have housing problems and stuff like that. We try to address it and refer them out to the appropriate places to um, to get help and have the problems resolved. So um, so we'll be doing that as well today. See if there are any housing issues, we can help them with affordable housing, like you said, the housing connect. Or if there are um, repair issues that are unaddressed, we want to try to see how best we could have them resolved. DYCD, my partner for the young people. How are you? Very good. Uh, you know, let me say that uh, I commend DYCD for the wonderful job that they are doing for the young people and also for the, for the families. Thank you. Uh, as you may know, I'm the chairman of the Youth Services Committee. It's great to meet you. Yeah, because for DYCD, we, the city council members, we have a three person serving the young people. And as a matter of fact, I want to give kudos to many partners. I'm talking about uh, my uh, colleague in the city council, the speaker, the mayor office, of DYC, because we raised the number of summer jobs available to the young people. Absolutely. Because before, you know, 
25,000 jobs were available for the office. Every year, every year, people should know that 135,000 young people usually send applications for social media. 135,000 FYP. But only 35,000 young people were lucky enough to have a job and they could see a job. So that means we were not able to provide jobs to 100,000 young people. But I'm so pleased and fortunate and grateful to all the partners. We work together and we raise the number from 35,000 jobs to 70,000 jobs. This is historic. This is unprecedented in New York City. That shows when we work together, we can accomplish that goal. But I'm, you know, I'm not satisfied yet. We still have a lot of work to do. Still have a lot of work to do. And I'm going to continue to work with uh, the mayor of uh, my colleague of the city council, DUI City, and all the partners to make sure that every young person in New York City can have a job. And I'm so pleased that you come. And uh, I would love you to say some few words to the viewers to let them know what DUI City is doing and why you come here today. Well, thank you so much, first of all, to invite us here at, the, um, at this event. We offer free services across the city. Um, depending on where you live, you can just give us a call. It's very easy. Our 1-800 number is on the back here. And it's 1-800-246-4646. We're available 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. We have multiple representatives that are able to answer your calls about family support, immigration services, runaway and homeless youth services, summer youth program, which is one of our jobs and internship programs for ages 14 to 24 years old. Also free summer camp programs, after school programs, reading and writing, literacy programs. And as you already know, we also come out and do events such as this. Um, we do table setups and also presentations. And please give us a call at our Youth Connect hotline at 1-800-246-4646. There's something that you said I'm going to, yes. you know, put a little detail on it. One away youth. Yes. Because people don't realize in New York City, we have a lot of young people who are homeless, who are in shelters, and we need a place to, to live. And I want them to know DY City does provide services for those young people. We have shelters. Shelters, yes. If you are, you are young people, you need shelters, you are in difficulty, you need a place to live, please contact DY City and contact the different agencies because this is a wonderful program. I want to visit. Uh, 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 several of them. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the last one that we went to visit was uh, uh, in Manhattan. And then uh, I'm inviting the young people and everybody, if you know, young people who are in trouble, don't have a place to live. Tell them to contact the U.S. That's the reason the U.S. is such a wonderful yeah. organization. Try to address the issues affecting not only the young people, but everybody in New York City. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much you. again. Thank you so Appreciate much. That. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So by working together, we can uh, provide so many information that will improve the, the, the quality of life of people. For that, I thank you very much for coming. And I want you to go and introduce yourself and let people know what you are doing, what you are providing, not only here, but every single day. Hey, so my name is Monica Denny, and I'm a navigator with the uh, Perry Network. I'm currently located at the Perry Center. I know where you are. I know you. <laughs> And uh, we help with uh, Medicaid to the New York State of California. So we help to um, you know, clients come in and give them appointments and sign them up for medical insurance according to the category they fall into. If it's Medicaid or it's to, to the to the marketplace, China Plus, things like that. And, very good. Yes. Thank you so very much because you mentioned so many young empowerment things for yes. people to know. Yes. Because uh, our community can be better when the people have help. Yes. And to have help, we have to we have to be to do it. You know that, I know the kind of help you know, I know what you are doing. It is very important that we educate our people, we give them the information for them to do it. Because without help, there is nothing we can do. And I know this organization has been in the community for so long. And I'm one of the supporters of it. Thank you so very much for what you're doing. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Okay. Two Thank at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Very good. And we want to work together, okay? To so empower the people and to improve the life yes. of the one of you. Definitely. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. Bye. Thank you. So, HR, HR support. Um, hopefully, I came out here to give some information to parents that they may not know that they may need or they're in that situation. Help them navigate the situation. Um, so, I have different information on family court services, access to HRA. If somebody's interested in applying for food stamps, they can do it online now. They don't have to go into the center, do a certification online for SNAP, um, DNA services, and uh, NYCID which is a free ID that New York City is offering. So hopefully I can give people a small gift of information that they would need that they didn't know HRA can give them. So have a handbook with everything in there that they think they know good. and may not. I thank you so very much. It's like three more things, but I'm, I'm going to single out one. Okay. Food stamp, you say, right? Snap, yes. Snap, exactly. But you know what? So many people are qualified and so many also don't receive it. Yes. For many reasons. For many reasons. And I, I'm glad that you do the promotion, you, yes. you come out because people are in need, mm -hmm. but unfortunately they don't benefit from that. Thank you Correct. so much. Yes. But let me say, you mentioned on everything, but can you please give at least the phone number loudly for people who are watching, the phone number, what they, call, what they have to do, the first step. The first step. A web page because we right. have many information here. Right. People who are watching here, they make it, oh, let me take the phone number, or oh, let me take the web page. The web page definitely will be nyc.gov backslash HRA, and then they'll click onto a certain service that they need, whether they want child support, whether they want SNAP, whether they want cash assistance. You click onto social services and find the actual program that you're looking for, and that's the best way. And of course, call 311. Good. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Right. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Yeah, and, and for this community, especially, there is one program that we do on that side that I love. And we call it Project Ally, which is where we, um, it is a program that, that caters to families who may have young children. information to my constituents and to everybody. It's very important. Support services are very important. Yes, yes. Some of it that we don't know what people are going through. Yeah. And it's very important that we have services available for them to help them, you know, force that green. That's right. To overcome that difficulty. That's right. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for thank putting you so this all together. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, you have a good day. Sir. Thank, thank you. Good you too. Bye bye. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I don't think that I can use any word to express what King Sontia, you know, is doing. <laughs>
And right now, in New York City, we have a stroke day. Yes. And this is a, a, an opportunity for all the medical institutions, all the health uh, uh, service providers, the health professionals. We have to come together in that day to make sure we bring awareness and we make people know the danger and the importance of uh, making this a preventive measure to be strong. So now we reach out to you guys because this is something we should do together. Before I conclude, I want to thank, to express my thanks and my gratitude to uh, Mr. Baptiste and Baptiste from Prince Hunter's Buddha. He's doing a wonderful job. I think he's doing it. He's not easy. It's true. But no one is not easy. But it will take all of us to work together to make sure that the kids continue, continue to be the water for you as we got that it is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My best. Thank you. Thank you. I want to, on behalf of the community, on behalf of all the New Yorkers, I want to thank you guys for what you're doing because all uh, parks are beautiful with so many activities, entertainment and everything because of, not only because of one person, because of all of you. All of you. And you are one of my partners. This is not the first activities that we, we yes. are doing. <laughs> and the people in my district, they love it. Yes. You know, they, they are very grateful to you guys. And I want to thank you on behalf of my country and also on behalf of the others. That's the reason why I know that, you know, the parks, they are providing so many great activities to the New Yorkers. That's the reason why we city council members with the mayor office, the board president office, we work together mm -hmm. to provide the resources, the funding necessary for you to, to do your job. And I know that you know what to do. And I'm proud to announce you something that you know already. In the budget of uh, 2018, the city council has provided $7.6 million okay. to the park yeah. for, the, for you guys to maintain and also to uh, and to keep our uh, back safety safe yeah. and to continue to do the wonderful job we are doing.
is the Congo, a dance of style. It's very smooth. It talks about your magic, your elegance. You keep your chin up, smooth. It reminds you of Queen Nzenga from Angola, which was a satellite state of the Congo Empire. Yes, join Natalie, join us. There you go. The magical. So can we please give her a round of applause? And everyone please try to join in, come in and join in. Christina's gonna take over the mic. Thank you, Rosalind. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my name is Christina, again from Set and So Good Fitness, um, Soka Aerobics based workout. We're gonna start you guys off today with a little bit of a warm up. Um, anyone can join, there will be modified moves. Um, and if you wanna take it up a notch, I'll show you uh, some steps that you can do to get towards that. Jump to the ground, jump to the ground. 